Baldwin Park is now saying it appears that someone lit either a piece of paper or a newspaper on fire and then tossed it in the other side of this ballot box. Sparks fly as a firefighter cuts into a Baldwin Park ballot box with a circular saw. We're going to save as many ballots as we can. After hosing down the inside, another firefighter pulls out stacks of partially burned ballots, but others inside the box appear to be completely blackened. There is over 200 ballots uh, that were reported. Baldwin Park Mayor Manuel Lozano says it's not clear yet how many of those 200 ballots were either badly damaged or destroyed, but that police believe this was arson, and the FBI is now involved in the alleged federal crime. So I'm just hoping that they're able to salvage some of those uh, ballots and. If not, then we need to reach out and let those residents know. I was like, man, I, I just dropped my ballot off right there, so it, it was upsetting. Now Kimberly Perez says she has to figure out how to make sure her vote will in fact count, even though her ballot may have gone up in flames. She doesn't think this fire was an act of voter suppression. I think it's just a young kid just out there, you know. Uh, honestly, I cannot say that's a possibility at all. George Silva disagrees. He found the box smoking in front of the library, flagged the firefighters down, and then filmed the aftermath. He thinks this was an attempt to undermine the election. I hope they really find this person and uh, they slap him with the book. Police are on the lookout for any video of the suspect, but there don't appear to be any cameras nearby. Mayor Lozano says every voter should have a safe, secure location to drop off their ballot, and he thinks this one is too dark at night. I personally don't want it where it's at. I think we should move it elsewhere within the city where it's well lit. And it's believed that those ballots were dropped off in this box between Saturday at 10 in the morning and Sunday at 8 in the evening. Now, as soon as the LA County Registrar's Office gets those damaged ballots, they say they plan on reaching out to all those voters, but for if some reason you don't hear from them, you can also track your ballot online. Reporting in Baldwin Park, Nicole Comstock, KCAL 9 News.